Hey guys, <clears throat> out doing morning chores. Out checking the calves. I don't remember if you remember when this little red one was born. She was the last one. Then we got the yearling heifer here. And there's Lou laying down. And there's Lou's calf, the very first calf of the season. She uh, kind of grew a little bit. And there's Zeus in the background. Um, we did AI our cows. Um, we just got Zeus out here as a cleanup. We got a little behind this year. We had a little bout with pneumonia. As you can see, I'm walking right in with the cows and how scared they are of me. I'm a big scary person. <clears throat> but that's what you get when you're with your cows just about every day. And then there's my my helper. I got my helper with. So, so we're out doing that. There's grasses. This is getting down there. They're gonna have to move here pretty quick. Um, they ain't got plenty in the willows there yet, but we're just probably gonna set up our other pasture, get that fence checked, and get them get them moved out there. There's the first pasture they were in. Um, they were in there for a month and then it kind of looked like this does. So I took the hay bine and clipped it off, took it off and bailed it up. And they were out there for a month and I still got seven bales of hay off of it. So a round bale. So Kind of in a dry spell now, but everybody's doing okay. So, I'm gonna go over and check the water tank and go back and do the rest of the chores. Catch you in a bit. Oh, I gotta put a little blurb in here about uh, the bull. Um, we got it from, well, we got it from Walter, but it's actually Josie's, Walter's girlfriend's, Josie's bull. Um, he's only a yearling, so um, we weren't planning on purchasing a bull this year, but things worked out that we uh, couldn't find one to rent, so we uh, talked to the, talked to Walter, and he had some yearling bulls, so we purchased him, and He's gonna be an addition to our herd for a few years, so see how it goes. Um, here's a little update on our piggies. Um, we're gonna have to separate them now. We got three that are quite a bit bigger than the rest and they're eating. And then the little guy, little gal, she's coming along. She's just a little smaller than I'd like her at this point in the year. Uh, the other thing I should say is that we're getting ready for the fair. Um, Monday the fair starts. It's today is Saturday morning, so Tasha's got to get ready. She's gonna show. She's gonna show her horse, and she's got chickens. She's gonna show. Um, I'll go give you an update on them chicks and show you what they look like. Oh, we also we've built a nice little feed shed here. Oh, it's only 10 feet wide by 16 feet, but there's something to get us by for now. Oh, I gotta hang the doors on this end yet. And I gotta get more trim pieces. Um, here's an idea what it's gonna probably look like when we're all done. I gotta put a board up there yet, piece. But uh, yeah, I gotta give her the second coat of paint here on some of these sides and put a couple little windows, cut a little couple windows in and uh, be nice. Uh, eventually we'll trench power over here so we can have lights in here. So. In there, so we can put all our nice little feed in here. Keep our feed wagon, crack corner for the cow when they come in this fall. Got some pig feed and layer feed, and our tank over in the corner. Yeah. And then, if everybody rem and then if everybody remembers the little yellow chicks that we had this spring, 
They're not little yellow chicks anymore. They're coop. We need to move them over a little bit here. Um, these are two of these are going to go to the fair on Monday, and she's going to show them. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Sure, it'll go okay. Looks like I got to clean your water dish. All right, catch you in a bit. Here's Tasha's. Lay your hens. Um, got about 20 chickens in here. They're all inside there making noise. Must be laying some eggs. She gets about a dozen a day out of here. So, and she's selling eggs. So if anybody's interested in some eggs, uh, let us know and we can uh, hook you up with some. I gotta find where my dog went. She kind of disappeared on me. Here we are. Coming in the update on the horses, which Tasha will be showing Sparkle the white, the paint, it's the paint horse, the one coming. Oops, sorry. That one. So, um, we got a fly blanket and a fly mask on Danny because he hates the flies. So, seems to be helping him do a little better. Call him the ninja horse now. So, that's what the horses look like. Uh, Danny, or Rusty's out there picking. Bye, I gotta finish clipping their pasture out there so we can put them back out there. Otherwise, they're eating some hay. So, here comes Russell. Alright, we'll go check out one last thing. And then, here we are. These are our meat birds. You probably saw these as little yellow chicks, too. So, Tasha will be showing two of these, too. So, hopefully, uh, we get them showed at the fair so we can get them butchered. Because they're getting kind of big. And like a small turkey. So. All right, that's about all we got for today. Um, we did get our hay all baled, got our baler fixed after we broke that. Um, did a little work, did a little baling for the neighbor. So, made sure everything works good. So, and that's about about it. Um, we do have. When the baler broke, we baled about just about 700 small square bales to get the rest of the first crop up. So, uh, if anybody's looking for some small square bales, we have uh, some of them available too. So, uh, sounds like a little plug doing it to try to sell everything. <laughs> but we will catch you guys later. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to shoot, do at the fair, try to video at the fair. Um, but I'll try to get you some footage of what goes on there so catch you later